That one I didn't miss. Hey guys, this is my buddy Brad, who's graciously offered to show me the ropes trout fishing down here in Arkansas. So this is the White River. This is one of the places I've wanted to come fish for years, so I'm really excited to have this opportunity. Just in case you're not familiar with the White River, it's a 722 mile long river that originates in Arkansas, flows through Missouri for a little ways, and then ends up in Arkansas, dumping into the Mississippi River. Now large sections of this river have been modified with dam constructions to form a series of reservoirs for flood control and hydroelectric production. Beaver Lake, Table Rock Lake, Lake Tanicomo, and Bull Shoals all on the White River. Some pretty famous fishing lakes right there, I might add. But the river itself's long been ranked one of the top trout fisheries in the United States. Fishing is popular on these waters for a number of trout species, including rainbow, brown, cutthroat, and brooks. Now, if you like learning fishing tricks, stay tuned to the end of this one, because at the beginning, I get absolutely schooled by Brad using the D2 jig. <laughs> fish on oh baby which is his go-to bait and i could see why out here on the white i had a little bit of luck with it myself but i switched over and came up with a method using a blade bait that honestly i never seen anybody do before but i absolutely slammed the trout once i started using this method today but i'll get into that in a little greater detail a little later on in the video for now i'm going to show you exactly where we are at so there's a convergence of the Buffalo and White River, and we are just upstream, maybe about a quarter mile from that location near a public launch near Buffalo City. That one I didn't miss. Oh, baby. Come to Papa. That's, uh, he's fighting a lot more than that other one did. I don't think he's any size. He's kind of giving up the ghost here, but. But that's your second fish here in two casts? Something like that. <laughs> Didn't have the camera on the first Ooh, one here. Oh, go. he's pretty. This is that two pound line, so. There. On in. Oh, fish on. Oh, he hit that like a ton of bricks. Holy cat. He may not be huge, but. Sorry. He hit it hard. In case you're counting, that makes three for three. He's three casts, three fish in. <laughs> Come on, get in there. And if you're keeping score, that makes three nothing for Brad. These D2 jigs. We're not keeping score though. Until I get ahead. Hey, come on. Yes, we are. We're keeping score. <laughs> Unless I get behind, then then we're no longer keeping score. Is that D2 jig? Is that what you're using? Yeah. Brad introduced me to these D2 jigs. Apparently, it's the go-to out here, and uh, I'm hoping to have a little bit of luck like he is here in just a minute. What's that fuzz called on these? Marabou. Marabou. So what is marabou? Oh. Fish on. Chicken butt. <laughs> Chicken feathers? Chicken butt. Feathers, yeah. Hit me some fishing lures. <laughs> <laughs> Brad was right. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Come to Papa. Oh, that's the nicest one you have right there, I think. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Oh, Another one in the boat. Fish. So he's four fish in. I just got my first jig tied on. <laughs> oh. Time to play catch up. Be like Jonah. He'll throw me out of the boat. I might. I walk right back in that spot. If you're going to fall in, make sure the camera's running. Right. 
Oh, finally. Oh, you don't have landed yet. Yeah. Not landed, but at least, at least I got a, something going on. And this fish may not be giant, but it be. is special. Uh, yeah. There you go. And I'm on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Aaron's fish. Have a nice day. Look at this where we're fishing, though. Look at this bluff we got here in front of us. You cannot, you can't beat this. You come here and not catch a thing all day and leave happy. That's right. Which I thought I was going to make a pretty good run at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> he hammers four, five straight fish as soon as we get here. Uh -oh. About two hours later, I get my first. Uh, you, had, you had two on the board. But they were not on the board. I, didn't get, I had lo broke my line twice on, trying on to a fish. <laughs> they must have been really big fish, though. They must have been big fish. <laughs> well, Brad, we're on the White River, right? Yeah, what, White River. What's this launch called? This is the Buffalo City uh, launch site. It's, it's public access. This is the White Buffalo Resort. Uh, they've got an amazing place to sit and just relax and enjoy what God created. It's it's incredible. And Brad's been kind enough to come out here and show me the ropes on the white. I'm new here, so uh, some different techniques and stuff. These uh, He's introduced me to these D2 jigs, uh, which is what I just caught that fish on. Mm -hmm. Just a nice, well-shaped jig head. A little bit heavier than what I usually use for trout fishing, like at Montauk or in Missouri. But just uh, nice, well-shaped. They're tough. tough. I, I'm, I'm impressed with how tough they are. They, they, they tie, they throw, they, they, uh, they wear very tough. They yeah. just might still look as good as the, the ones that uh, I pulled out of the package. As much as I've thrown this one already, I will say it doesn't have any chips or anything on it. And I've been banging it off the rocks and everything. Yeah. At least, I'm all, at least I got the skunk off. You got the skunk off big time. That was a pretty fish. It was very light. Yeah. <laughs> very petite. Is that what you're very uh, <laughs> light in color. Oh, okay. I thought you were mocking its size. <laughs> no. <laughs> very trim, like a very yeah. fit fish. Like, you know, you can tell that fish didn't overeat. <laughs> Be surprised to see this is at least seven feet long. <laughs> I'm gonna be surprised to see you pull out a smallmouth. They come up from the buffalo, swim up here. Well, this guy's got a good head, head bob on him. He's small, but he's got a fight. He could be a smallie. Nope, he's 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 trouty McTrout pants. Trouty, trouty. Oh, he's a little better. A little bigger than that last yeah, one. Yeah, he is. That's good size. Yeah. I've given you plenty of time, buddy, to catch up with me. I had two. Huh? What am I at, two? I have two or one? So, no, you got two at least. Okay. Okay, so here's the point where I throw this blade bait on and my fortune starts to change a little bit for the day. So it takes me a minute to figure out how to really work this thing for trout. This is a lure you can usually retrieve or jerk, but the method I ended up figuring out is I just suspend it in the water column and let the current do the work. But before I figure that out, I still nailed a fish on the first cast with this little bad boy. Baby, there we go. Hey, I threw this steel shad. My first cast with it. I'll show it to you. It's a spoon, sort of. Oh, look at fancy pants with a color boat over here. Look at that thing. I know. I've seen that boat down here a lot. Oh, All right. Well, that lure hit it right out the gate. Was just sitting, I was just sitting letting the current 
swing it over? Uh, yeah, the current was, yep. going, was just making the lure work. Oh, little fella, eat a little guy. Hey, he's he is a good eater. Listen. You call it. I'll call it. But I believe that is number four. I think you're right. Is that four? And three of them are on that little crazy thing. Two. Do not get that camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay it's a tie so that makes five to four you're up that's six is that six mm -hmm. yeah watching this story this girl that got lost in the grand canyon oh and uh she was she was lost for yeah. she ended up setting some kind of a record for being lost by herself in the canyon without dying and she found a spot in the cliff like that where there was water seeping out and it was the only thing that kept her alive looks like a fairly decent one I am pulling straight upstream too so he's Got a little leverage on me. But... Nice, Mr. Fish. Oh, he's a good eater right there. Yes, sir. Well, all I'm doing with this little shad, this metal shad, is sitting here. And the most effective way I've been using it is letting the current do the work. It's yeah. just sitting there flapping in the current. I may reel it upstream just a little bit, maybe let it settle, maybe give it a tug or two. But I've been sitting there getting bites and quite a few of them. Look a little tougher. A little more of a fight. Yeah. You know he'll go anytime. You cut and work and play and hooky. All you need is a hook and a line. Fishing with Aaron. You know that's all that we need. Might just fall in the water, but you can't say that you ain't clean. Fishing with Aaron, you know you'll be out all day long. Maybe take a wrong turn and then get lost in the fog. Fishing with Aaron, you just might like and subscribe. Fishing with Aaron. Can't believe this guy went fishing with someone else. What was he thinking? So get Brad right off the boat. He's gone. It's a great Arkansas barking wolf trout. <laughs> <laughs> he makes I an heard appearance it, every once in a while. That thing's got a scent gland like nothing I ever smelled before. <laughs>